Aloha, everyone. Welcome to Grok in Two, where we cover Grok concepts in two minutes or less. Now, in this one, we are going to be filtering arrays with variants, and I'll show you exactly how that's done. But if you do want to follow along and get the same test studio that I have, run the command npx sanity init and choose the e-commerce one. Now, I'm going to go straight to my vision plugin, and in here, I'm going to start writing my query. So I want to pull out everything that has Norwegian in categories. Categories in, is an array, and I need to dereference it to get the title. So if Norwegian is in the categories title, I want that. And then I'm going to do categories and equal that, set that to the categories um, title. And then we'll also pull out the candy title. Run that. And we should get Norwegian in all of the titles and the title of the candy. But if Norwegian is there, it is returned. Now, I want to have everything that has Norwegian in categories, but I don't necessarily want to see Norwegian in my result. I just want to see everything else that is a category title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right in here and I'm going to do at. At is going to represent the item in the array. And since... It's a D, since it's a reference, this title, we're going to have to also add on a dereferencing. So we're going to do at title not equal to Norwegian. And this right here is the same like filter expression as up here because this is filtering. It's the same thing. So that's just so you can understand what's happening here. Now I'm going to run this query. And Sure enough, everything is the same, except Norwegian is not included in our result. So Norwegian in categories title is uh, satisfied here, but we want every title to be returned that is not Norwegian. And that's where we get licorice and chocolate. So that is filtering arrays with variants in Grok.